That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Kaylin, I have to say. Ah, or is it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is gonna make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know, Nick's got the beast in him. Uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let that cute preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? Alright, Dylan. Truth or... Uh, I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. Uh, we gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Hey! What happened? Abby, what happened? Brian! We gotta know what... Well, she needs help. Give her a second. Go after Nick! Go! Maybe, maybe you should go. Look, I gotta help Abby. Go! He might be hurt too. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. Jesus. 
There's a half-naked girl waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Please, please, man, just, just let me down, okay? Just, don't hurt me, please. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? Son of a bitch. doing? Shh. Quiet. Seems like just a blink, and you're back to see me again. So, then, what have we got? It's the star. Stars, stars in the night, sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance. Fear of despair, trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity, and sometimes proof. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Back to it then, back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. That was horrible. It was, it, it was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast and, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter and it was just, Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Well, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Nick. Hey, buddy. Can you tell me what those guys did to you? Rush did. He's super out of it. Yeah. The, the the hunter. 
Uh, yeah. There was a guy. There was something else. Some kind of animal. What oh. kind of animal? No, no, I only saw a dude trying to take him away. He's probably just disoriented, that's all. The dude was massive and angry. Is Abby? Hey, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. Full-size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears right here. Oh, fuck. Look at that. Oh, fuck. shit. That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's And it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Sorry. You're okay. It's okay. Fuck that. Hurt. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? You're literally an idiot. Hey, I'm just trying to help. He just needs a doctor. Proper medical attention. And a shrink, too, probably. I can't remember much. I mean, I don't even know what I saw. Holy shit. And I know how to use it. Sort of. Brian, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? <sighs> Be careful. It was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? No, 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 no. Don't shoot, don't shoot! I'm here to save you. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. <sighs> Fuck, of course they are. So wait, what happened to you? Right, right, okay, so. Like I was saying, okay? I heard Abby screaming, so I came running. Like as fast as I could. From the lake? Yeah, and then, and then out of nowhere, I stepped into this like... I don't know, like a, like a booby trap? Like some sort of hunter's trap? Hunters? I told you it was hunters. The goddamn thing snared my leg, hoisted me halfway into the tree, just zoop! So I'm hanging there, half naked, and then this guy with like a fucking machete comes right up to me, looks me right in the fucking eyes, but I taught that guy a lesson, booked it right the fuck out of there. We gotta get Nick and Abby back to the lodge. Like, right now. Uh, hard agree. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me? Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, alright? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get. 
Uh. Fucking stop! We're in a real mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Ryan! Sorry. This is bullshit! Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what, risk another uh, run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Yeah, I have an idea. tonight brings okay here's a riddle for you what's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark this fool well one thumb one available thumb okay and it was here on a strange uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I wanna go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. You know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Well, explore bending. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers! <laughs> No prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too au naturel for me, TBH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. Oh. Oh, please, God, no. Okay, we're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. I think I've made my point. Island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. 
kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why, why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. The metaphor in the narrative by mean a fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Ah, what the hell. We're in it now anyway. Well, and truly in the thick of it. Because you know what else? I was really excited for the next part of my life, you know? I mean, the summer was great, but what's next? I mean, come on. I know by the time I post this, Hackett's Quarry will just be but a distant memory, and I know it's just one night, and you have to make the most of all your opportunities, and yada, yada, yada. I guess... I just don't want to have to settle for what's around me, you know? Abby sees me as this confident person, but really? I'm just desperate to stay afloat in a world where everyone wants to be different. I feel like this is the first time I've been alone all summer. Kind of like it. I guess that kind of reinforces the whole Jacob thing. I know the plan was for him to come get me, but now that I'm by myself, kind of like it. Sorry, Jacob, if you're watching. Nothing personal. It's a me thing. We're cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. I mean, who knows? Maybe in 50 years, we'll bump into each other and be flooded with fond memories of that one amazing summer at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and that spark that changed our lives forever. Then we'll be like 70-year-old lovers or whatever and have crazy walker sex. <laughs> hey, it could happen. Only time will tell, Jakey boy, and as they say, time makes fools of us all but we will be the oldest, sexiest fools there ever were. <laughs> Until then, I gotta do my thing. Sorry, buddy. Still warm. Looks like someone was just here. Quoth the raven nevermore.
I guess I gotta do this one-handed, huh? That didn't sound great. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, just thought you should know, I am nailing this ladder climbing. Ah. Oh. All right. This is the luxurious Skyway Treehouse, obviously. Constructed in the year 180 fuck by a blindfolded man who used only the finest rotting wood, rusty nails, and donkey spit that money could buy. A real Hackett vintage classic. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and... Oh, look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But... I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. there's something up there and it is not gonna make me jump I can promise you that much <sighs> goodbye cruel world the final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore Thank <laughs> you. 